This is the Garden Minute brought to you by Swedish Covenant Hospital. Hi, I'm Lamanda Joy, founder of the Peterson Garden Project, and today we're here to talk about squash blossoms. You know, one of the benefits of growing squash is not only the fruit, but the blossoms. A lot of people like to deep fry them or eat them in other ways. I'm going to show you which ones you want to pick and which ones you want to leave on the plants. So a lot of people get excited about harvesting squash blossoms when they grow uh, summer squash, and that's a great thing. I have two things I want to show you about uh, which ones to harvest and which ones not to harvest. So you'll notice this one has just a straight stem. There's no bulb protrusion here at the bottom. That means that that's a male flower. That's not going to produce squash. So you can go ahead and cut that and use it in whatever food preparation you'd like, and they're delicious. This guy is actually this gal. You notice that there's a bump at the base of the flower. That means that it's a female. So that one is going to produce fruit. So you want to leave that. So even though this blossom may get big and beautiful, you want to leave it be so it'll help um, with this fruit production. So male flower, go ahead and eat for squash blossoms. Female, leave to help produce fruit. This has been the Garden Minute. Special thanks to the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, Swedish Covenant Hospital, and Production One Media.